and this is a quick video of uh, what you need for uh, Docs for Nanopore long range sequencing. So I will go through everything that you need for the uh, RNA sequencing. Uh, the first thing that you need is the flow cell and this is uh, how it looks like. You can take this out. Okay, so there you go. Okay, uh, the second thing you need is the sequencing device. It comes in a pack like this. Instruction manuals, USB cable, and the device. So the flow cell will go into the sequencing device. Like that. And then you will close it. And connect the USB cable. Uh, this can now be connected to the computer. Okay, so it's now connected to the computer. So on the computer, you must have the uh, min now uh, software already installed. So uh, with the flow cell, the first thing that you need to check is the number of pores. So this is our 941 uh, flow cell, and it's supposed to have more than 2,000 pores. However, it is very rare to have uh, exactly 2,000 pore or more than 2,000 pore. So most of the time, uh, practically, but I have seen that I found around uh, uh, 1,000 pore, 1,200, 1,300, or sometimes even low. So if the number of pore is less than 800, then obviously you can uh, report the flow cell and they are responsible to replace it with a new flow cell. Okay, to check the flow cell, uh, we click on the uh, flow cell check. Then click on start and it will take a while to check the number of pores. So the first thing we will do is getting to 37. So once it gets to the 37, it will start scanning for the pores and will tell you how many pores you have. The other things you need is, um, for example, in this case, you're doing the uh, direct RNA sequencing, so you will need direct RNA sequencing kit as KUK RNA002, which is hopefully going to be upgraded to 04. Uh, then you need um, flow cell priming kit and uh, flow cell wash kit. The next thing you need is the protocol how to prepare the library, and you also need the protocol to uh, how to wash the flow cell. So you can buy all the ingredients uh, individually, but it's uh, cheaper to buy them as a starter pack. So if you go on the website, uh, look for the starter pack, and uh, for example here in the starter pack. So this is the starter pack for the RNA sequencing kit, and that includes a sequencing device, a control expansion kit, flow cell wash kit, flow cell uh, sequencing kit, and it also includes flow cell priming kit. And the total price is 900 pound. But if you buy them separately, obviously it will be much more expensive. Okay, to start preparing the library, obviously what the first thing you need is the RNA. You must have a good quality RNA. So you go through all this protocol. Uh, it details all the steps in the library preparation. So just follow all these steps. I will go through this uh, in detail in a different uh, video. So at the end, uh, you get a library something like this, which is roughly about 21 microliter. So one microliter is used to quantify, and the rest of the 20 microliter is used uh, for loading onto the flow cell. So in the same protocol, we have instructions for priming and uh, loading the spot on flow cell. You just need to follow all these instructions. So once you have successfully loaded uh, the library onto the flow cell, you start in data acquisition. So after loading the library onto the flow cell, you um, go to the software, click on the start, and you click on start sequencing, then you enter your experiment name and give all the other details, and then start the sequencing run. So that was a very quick uh, overview of uh, midline uh, RNA sequencing. Uh, I will make separate videos for all these sections. So thank you very much for watching.